Oh shit! It's Professor Man. Wait, he's a patient? But he's like the most famous guy though. Like he was on the TV. Hello, sir. Yes, you are you like the mayor? No, you're like a professor or something like that. Really? So you're friends with them? This guy's the villain! You know he's the villain! I know who he is, I know! He was on the television! Were you listening on our conversation? I guess so, but obviously you're the villain. Perhaps. I know who he is, come on. Mm-hmm. Yannick Fairlight, I am the founder and former CEO of System One Software. Hmm, is that like Microsoft? Ooh, now a parallax company. So parallax is, uh, what? Time Warner? <laughs> well, why wouldn't it be? I don't think everyone's lying to me at every moment of my life. Well, he talked about him once, eh? You know, you're you're obviously in control here, my friend. You got the cool look, the purple suit, Mr. Pimp Daddy. Apparently you have more memories of him than the robot does. So what's wrong with you? Do you got cancer or something? Well let's let's find some more history about our friend that we supposedly know. Okay, so Hayden was an important person then if he's doing that kind of thing. Okay. He was assigned to find the best ways to integrate Parallax's own collection and analysis tools. So he's basically like a. My brain will, refuses to think of the word. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why that bothers me that I can't think of the word. Okay, so you're former CEO. So you're retired, y'all? Yeah. Former. I accepted a lower position after the merger with... Par oh, so you're not retired. They forced you out. Difference of opinion. Yeah, that's always gonna happen when it comes to corporations. So they literally forced you out. They were doing shady shit. But they didn't care. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Okay. <laughs> I love that noise, meaning, huh, you should care about what that means. Exiled. Holy moly. Okay, well, good to know. You know, in San Francisco, you kind of have to be that way. Do you know anything about what's happening? I'm assuming no. Sapience. That is a crazy word. The realm of science fiction. Dude, I have my little friend here that proves you wrong. Is it this robot? She? Is this a she? I mean... Is 
Is it, is it a she? My name is Turning, and he is Puppy. Yes, I know. I think he. I think didn't I introduce myself? Um, did you say she? So you are a she. You just didn't know. Ah, uh, gender identity. I love it. I think that's that. There's two aspects of this game. There's the 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 racism element, or not racism, the the race element, and the the gender identity element, and how it how it all fits together. And then you have the sci-fi, you know, robots are not people thing. Pastel pink, because <laughs> I mean, it, it like gender stereotyping. Am I right? Wow, sexist. <laughs> I'm just trying to start shit. Alright, um... Just talking about stuff and things. So maybe this is a he and it's like that's his sister? Maybe? How long? People say a long time. Why don't you say? Why don't you be specific? Why can't you just say it was ten years ago? It was in 2052. You know, and that and that's just a bogus thing. If you're a rich doctor guy, you're totally gonna be like, oh, my memory's not. Loaded. Your memory's fine. You just you just don't want to tell us. Uh, more talking. Let's ask other things, shall we? What else do we want to ask? What are you doing here? He's obviously having an issue. But let's find out. It's quite a coincidence that we find ourselves here. This needs quotation marks around it. Because it's quite a coincidence that we find ourselves here sharing a room. Isn't it though? It either is a major convenience, <laughs> like uh, Deuce X Machina convenient, or you're here for a reason and this is all just a giant game. And we're, I'm, this is chess, m this is moving your pawn to the left. Or, you can't do that with pawns, never mind. Not so mysterious. Yes, you're old. Okay, so you're on life support. But you still got your legs crossing. It seems like you're still good. You should be strapped in that if you're, like, real bad. So, so huge and clunky, though. You're trying to find the immortality machine, aren't you? So you can live forever. You think we would have found like a like I know science is currently like researching how to prevent death. You think we would have found that by now? <laughs> or at least getting we're on the road to it, you know? Okay, you mean get all the poop cleaned out, right? I assume something bad happened then, like maybe like a Metallica concert went wrong. Sure. Uh -huh. Convenient. Well then they're dumb. <laughs> How can I help you? I like how surprised he was, like, what? You're believing this? Oh, oh, I mean, okay. Alright, you're gonna contact your contacts. Quiet feelers. That is, a, that is an interesting term. Uh, 
I'm wealthy and bored, like like all of San Francisco, am I right? <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, let me tell you about all the things I've committed. All, all the crimes I've committed. You know this is the point when I would start to question, hmm, why is he so specific? So, it would sound like he's involved. Of course the robot's buying it up. Oh my god, you're doing like a, a Maya from uh, Phoenix where she does that. Ah! Human revolution! And we were assaulted. Okay, stop freaking out. You know, you say we're running out of time, robot, but are we? I... I don't know. It, unless you have, like, an implanted timer in your head. Oh, so we gotta ask this anyway. Gotcha. <laughs> what do I want? Hmm, I'm rich, I'm old, I can do whatever the hell I want. That's a good question. Well, yeah, me too. Uh, I don't like where this is going. Like, I know, I know, I know you're rich and all, but I don't, I don't think I, I'm uncomfortable with this. Oh, oh, okay. Whew! That <laughs> <I> was. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say what that was. Yes, it's been very interesting speaking with you. Yes. So... Should we trust him? We should trust him. I don't think we should trust him. Should we trust him? I don't think we have any choice. Well, thanks. I'm getting that feeling, <laughs> too, for lots of things. If you're not involved then holy crap is this the most convenient thing in the world oh, I have no doubt you will earn my trust and then you'll backstab me when you know I least expect it oh why didn't you leave with that then hmm? that would have been helpful yes did they do something oh my god the conveniences now it's just getting superficially convenient. -y. He is friends with the leader of the clinic of the human revolution one. Oh. I like I have friends, right? If like I don't have a friend that is like connected, like is best friends with like the mayor or anything like that. Th does anyone have connections like that? Because if you do, that's amazing to me. Because <laughs> that would be like, you're set, right? Because you don't need to worry about anything. It's like, well, you know, I'm in that area and I, my best friend happens to be the president of the United States. <laughs> it's just, like, even if, if that were true, why would that person help you at all? You know, why... Why until until now do you use these these advantages that you obviously have? Brian Mulberry, what a name! See that? See that? Just just well, we're such good buddies. All I gotta do is just put my hey, this guy wants to see you, and you're in. No one else can do that. Everyone has to sign like a form and like wait five months, but you. Instant, instant things. <sighs> Boy, howdy. <laughs> if not, well, it, uh, my friend is obviously an evil dictator. Oh, come on. Probably through school or something. I honestly don't care. Just that, just that he is best friends with un the group that is obviously like the main antagonists of the game <sighs> he 
You know, for story sake, sure, let's ask the stupid questions. Why is he always surprised? Well, when I exited Parallax, I sought to be out like-minded individuals to put pressure on the company to avoid full deployment. Okay. Was so, you were trying to stop them from doing the thing... But but then aren't they entirely against the ideas of technology itself? So wouldn't they just tell you to go away? Because you're the one that, that like helped that become a thing, though. So you jo that's like joining the KKK to fight like Nazis. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so so you hack them and did terrorist things. This doesn't sound legal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But you did work with them though. Okay, alright. You should have said that before then, because otherwise that's very confusing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I am no Luddite. What a what a name. So that's a term that if it's brought up, I probably shouldn't use that because it will agitate them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Do I thank the man that will obviously probably reveal himself to be the big bad at the end? Or maybe not. Maybe he'll die. I don't know. Alright, let's thank him. Why not? Why not? What? what what's... What's the the worst that can happen for being a little bit, you know, kind to someone else? Leon Decker. What a name. If this was Shadowrun, that would be a very bad name. Okay, I'm I'm once again using false di false identification. All right, get get your minions out there, man. This is basically our <laughs> we're working for this man now. About basically, all right. Let's get going. Well, here we go. At this point, I think I've completely, like, I'm not in control anymore. I'm just riding the rails at this point. I'll listen to my robot friend, agree to whatever he has to say, and hopefully we get to have sex later. Yes, let's go. Oh, no, Lexi, not now. We just had a long scene. I know, I know I cost you your job, I know I cost you your job, but <laughs> it's just too much dialogue. Apparently I was, apparently I'm a bad boy. I didn't know I was. In the first scene of the game, I was the loser that seemed to not be able to hold a job, but now it seems like, no, I'm, I'm this truly, you know, I go out and get them type of personality. Oh, you're in Chinatown. Am I? Oh, I am. Interesting. I guess we went to the Chinatown hospital. Yeah. I don't know why. We were attacked in like the 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 downtown area. So. Oh. <laughs> Good for you. Good for I me. Go to Saint Anna instead of Well, they gotta show off the, all the districts, right? Well, if you are in downtown, so we go to the UCSF. Right That's obviously too expensive for my right? cheap ass. I, I try I just impersonated an officer for God's sake. My best friend at that. You think I'm gonna go to some high end emergency situation? Well it depends on your uh, insurance carrier. Right? <laughs> this is the future, George. All insurance is is injected into your body. Do you have the 
what kind of social uh, do they have the what's that obamacare there it's not called obamacare uh, anymore neo obamacare how about that no 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 neo obamacare yeah neo <laughs> but obviously you know like a hundred presidents have been elected so it's like neo clinton bush slash you know galactus care maybe just <laughs> trump care how trump about that care. no no well maybe that's how neo uh, neo san francisco was made right trump got into power burned all the cities to the ground and then we had to rebuild them all now they all have to be named neo that's how this happened guys it wasn't some great calamity or even the earthquake it's a trump presidency this is what you can get I guess so. <laughs> We're going to make America great again. Made the new. We're going to make him Neo. Yes. We're going to make him uh, the Matrix character. Anyway, yeah, I understand. I understand I fucked up. And I said that multiple times, but the game was like, no. Please arrest me. No, you should be arresting me. But you're not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry we almost cost you your job. Will you forgive me? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I just followed along because I'm a follower. You see? You you said I, I break the rules and I do that. But and honestly, I don't have any opinions of my own. I am just a... I am a hollow shell pushed along everything like look the robots talking for me look at this shit this motherfucker kick him <laughs> yeah yeah take take him to jail I'll, I'll teach him he'll he'll learn how to break out jail Yeah, I did. I made a, a water robot crash into you. How does that make you feel? Jeez, way to be a dick. Yeah, let's just reveal our card, shall we? Come on. In the in the hospital where everyone can hear us? In the hospital where everyone can hear us! <laughs> we are the worst... We are the worst, like, undercover anythings ever. How many times have we explained this to people? And how many times can have, have we actually sat here and listened to it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, sure. Why, just arrest us, please. I'm begging you. Be sensical. Listen, literally, this isn't my fault. Because the robot just punched my door down and forced the situation upon me. I had no choice. It even threatened to kill me. Arrest us! Arrest us! You are dumb. <laughs> you're my, you're my good friend. I can't honestly arrest you for breaking the law. Yeah, I doubt like all those things that would put any normal person in prison would they'll notice that. Mm, no. Why? How? What has convinced you that I am correct? Even I don't think I'm correct. Everything that's happened so far has been very, very confusing. A lot of talking. <sighs> okay, so obviously the higher-ups are, are under the thumb. Interesting. Uh, soon, soon they will be bought. Because police are always corrupt. 
So it's not complete corruption, but it's it's it has to do with money at least. I'm not trying to. I I am trying to be smart about this. It's very hard. Am I a reporter? I feel like I shouldn't be a reporter. I feel like everything I've done so far does not equate a reporter. Yeah, I do too. We're gonna get into some intense shit here soon. I I want the scene where we get our asses kicked by the bad guys. Uh, well, that did happen, didn't it? Well, I want like the guy like comes out of the shadows, points a gun into our face, and goes, "I'm gonna murder you now." I want that scene. Oh my god, is the game trying to be subtle here? Because it's not doing a good job. Again with this! <laughs> Some tells me you're going to be the one that dies, and then I'm the one that has to call my sister. I'm sorry, I'll be careful. I love you. Kiss with mouth. Are you gonna kiss me? No. Oh, hey, you gave me a gun! Now that, that's how you reward a friend. Is this the same thing we got hit with? Probably. Medium raid electro taser pistol. Uses a low power laser to create a channel of ionized gas to com complete a circuit between the gun and the target and discharge. Oh, good lord, that's too much information. It is a fancy taser. Wireless taser, yes, thank you. Is is much better. It's a much better taser than this taser we have. <laughs> the one we were hit was a fancy military taser. I got lucky. Oh boy. Almost being murdered's always lucky. P please stop. Oh, I hope I won't need this. Yuck yep. It's like, obviously if you're giving me an item that I'm going to use it, or I'm going to have to use it, or I, I, I'm not sure if I have to use it, and then I get killed, and then I go, oh, that's when I had to use it. I guess, sure, well, at least she's not angry at me. Okay, yeah, sure, alright. Okay, that's the end of this one. My god, the crap we just went through. I will say that one thing, it's like, some things are cool, some things not so cool. You know what, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Let's just keep playing the game, hopefully they'll reveal more plot and less me forcing me to commit crimes. I'm going to assume they're gonna make me do more crimes. Because that seems to be the, the, the theme of this game. But uh, we'll save that for the next one. Because this episode probably went for a long freaking time. I might have to cut it. Who knows. Uh, but till the next episode. Well, we will see you later, Gators.